You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. We're following breaking news, a wildfire burning near French Gulch in Shasta County. Now, this is a live look over the area, and actually this is kind of a, a a pleasant sight to see compared to what we were looking at about just 20, 30 minutes ago. We were seeing a ton of smoke. We've seen fire retardant dropped on this over the last couple of hours. At this time, we do know that the fires burned 70 acres. A warning is in place for the west side of Trinity Mountain Road, north of Fawn Ridge Road. And there is still an evacuation order issued for people living on the east side of Trinity Mountain Road. So keep that in mind. Cal Fire is still urging you to leave if right, you live yeah. there. Right, yeah. It is very encouraging yeah. to see that, but right. the warning's still in place Definitely. And, and so on. So let's get uh, the latest on our forecast on this Friday early evening with Jason. Yeah, we still have a lot of heat outside. As expected, today is a hotter day than yesterday. It was nice to have the cooler than average weather for much of the week, but now we're turning the corner back to the more summer-like heat that you would expect this time of year in Northern California. We had that high of 101 in Redding. Right now it's 99 degrees, 91 degrees in Weaverville now down to 79 in Mount Shasta with showers and thunderstorms in Siskiyou County, 87 degrees in Bernie. Red Bluff also a hot 95. It is a little bit breezier now than an hour ago in Redding, up to 18 miles an hour. 20 mile an hour sustained wind in Alturas with more thunderstorms in the vicinity and a 14 mile an hour breeze in Red Bluff. And speaking of that, we do have much more active weather in northeastern California than anywhere else in the region, also in northwestern Nevada. Showers and thunderstorms mainly east of Alturas right Right now, especially just directly due east of Alturas and more active weather just to the north of Chester and Lake Almanor in southwestern and west central Lassen County. But once the sun goes down, we're going to lose those clouds, showers and storms rapidly. We'll have a clear start to the day on Saturday. Another chance for showers and thunderstorms by Saturday afternoon. And keep that in mind, if you'll be near Shasta Lake tomorrow afternoon, there's a slight chance for showers developing there. Also north of Lake Almanor like we have right now, but it won't last very long. Just want to make sure you stay careful and there will be a couple lightning strikes possible, but they're more likely over the next several hours. Then once we get past Sunday and that's going to be the hottest day, another trough of low pressure starts to move on shore and that will cool us down a little bit on Monday, but much more noticeably Tuesday and Wednesday and then we'll still be below average next Thursday and Friday, although it's going to be hot every day, not as hot as we know it can get this time of year. I want to show you one of our seven day forecast models. Not much rain in our forecast and what's going to fall is mainly in the next 12 to 36 hours, mostly over the higher terrain, little to no rain in the foothills or the valley. And as far as that wind, you're going to notice that difference too. That's going to be keeping our overnight lows and our daytime highs warmer the next several mornings and afternoons as that gusty wind comes down through the valley, especially late Saturday into Sunday, some gusts between 20 and 30 miles an hour. So that will keep it much warmer both Sunday morning and Monday morning and Sunday afternoon is going to be the hottest day that we're going to have going forward. So in the short term, we still have the potential for the lightning strike. So a red flag warning out for most of Modoc County and eastern Siskiyou County that lasts until 11 o'clock tonight. But before that happens, we'll already have those showers and storms going away. Just keep an eye to the sky and don't start any fires yourself. It is higher fire danger. Tonight we'll have lows in the 40s in the mountains with mainly 60s and lower 70s, a warmer night for the valley and foothills. Hotter afternoon too. Upper 90s and lower triple digits for the valley. Lower 90s for the foothills and upper 80s for the mountains. Next seven days in Chico, we're going to peak on Sunday with some more breezes out of the north with a high of 102 down to the lower and mid 90s though from Tuesday through Friday. And for the Redding area, 103 to 105 degrees Saturday through Monday. Then thankfully dropping down to the 90s starting on Tuesday. It'll be gusty and a lot hotter this coming Sunday. Well, thank goodness. All yeah. right. Thanks, Jason.